It's really important that we remind the people that we're caring for that they are still an individual. So under the diagnosis of dementia, they're still an individual with life history, with fantastic memories, and it's, it's important to remind them of this. And through music, you can do this. So by using familiar music, we're able to, um, to obviously uh, help with memory recall, to um, be helping to bring back kind of long lost memories that have been, have been forgotten. And um, music can be the, the prompt, the kind of the reminiscence tool to be helping to bring back these memories. And I don't know about you, but I often find if I hear songs from like my teenage years, um, they remind me of school, they remind me of kind of a, a certain type of, um, of feeling of kind of, for me it was um, being slightly rebellious, that kind of, um, I through my music, I often found that that was how I um, lived out my personality, I think. That was kind of my, you could learn a lot from me as a teenager by knowing the type of music that I listened to and the type of person that, that I wanted to be. And, and so it's really important to be, to be linking back to these musical memories, to be learning about the individual through the music, because you'll find that you'll learn so much when you start knowing their musical memories, their musical preferences, um, you'll learn loads more about them than, than probably you did know before. Um, so you can be using music as this tool for, for promoting self-identity, to be reminding them um, that they're still a person, to you know, have meaningful conversations around the music. Um, you know, what, oh, what does this piece make you think of? Or you might play um, you know, a piece like Summer Holiday, Cliff Richard. And um, maybe the music itself isn't something that, that prompts a musical memory, but you can have musical discussions around it. So for example, you might say, um, oh God, Cliff Richard, you know, that film, Summer Holiday, I've never seen it, and actually I haven't. <laughs> um, but you know, isn't that where he goes around? Does he go around um, Brighton on a big red bus? Um, and actually I'm asking the question, I'm not 100% sure that it's Brighton. And, but having these kind of conversations and then saying, you know, oh, have you ever been to Brighton? Or, you know, did you go, on this, go, did you go to the seaside as a child? Um, for example, I grew up on a fishing village, so I can have a lot of conversations around about that. And um, you might talk about, you know, favourite holiday destinations, or maybe um, they didn't go away on holiday. So often I'll talk about this in a, one of our group music sessions. I'll be saying, you know, where's your favourite place to go on holiday? As a child, did you used to go to the seaside? And actually some people will say, no, I never went away on holiday because I lived on the farm. I grew up um, working on the farm. So, you know, we had to be on the farm looking after the animals. And then, you know, the amount of conversations that that can bring up too. You know, what was it like on the farm? Did you like living on the farm growing up there? You know, was it hard work? Um, you know, I hear that as a dairy farmer, you have really early hours, you have to get up in the morning and what was it like when, you know, in the winter when it's cold and the sun goes in? Um, and that, com that one conversation came out of playing Cliff Richard's Summer Holiday. So it might not always be about the music, um, the actual piece, but you can have conversations around it. And in terms of, um, you know, self-identity, it's then um, taking that person back, reminding them that they're still a person. Um, and, and for you as a carer to learn loads more about them that you might not have otherwise known.